working awesome. It's been going a couple hours now. Candle's still burning totally strong. Ton of heat coming off of here. So it's working awesome, totally cool. Just buy your copper, bend it down, get it as close to the bottom here as you can on both of those, put two candles under there, and then with these it does have to go all the way to the bottom so it can hold the fan. And make sure to cut those at the exact height so it lays nice and flat. Again, I did it like that in the middle, obviously, so we had a place to set the heat part stove fan. And the middle is by far the best place on these because you have all the heat here raising up and being blown forward. You have all the heat behind it getting pulled through and getting blown forward. Then you got the stuff on the sides and everywhere else just kind of shrouding the whole thing like a bubble of heat around it. So it's a ton of hot air coming out of there and it grabs almost all of it as it kind of sucks it around and blows it through. Let's light them up. It's just blasting off of there. It's working awesome. This literally could not be working better. It's working really, really good. Note that it's got six entry points for the heat. Here, 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 and here. So it's nice and symmetrical and even, so it heats up nice and quick. And then I love the fact that these things just run with a Peltier chip right to the motor. So that little thing right there, that chip, if you can see it, it creates the um, electricity from the heat that soaks up from the base of the fan. That motor is literally getting its electricity from the candles. Again, it's just the two bricks, the stainless steel pot, the sand, some copper, and tea lights, and that's it. And one thing to note, it never slows down in terms of the amount of heat. You can run this thing a half an hour, an hour, two hours. It's consistently super hot coming out of there. Sweet. Love the look of this at night. Looks so cool. I was getting a little bit crazy with the aluminum designs as you can see here, but sometimes that's the best way to invent. You just bend it all up like that, stick it in the sand, and then things start coming together over time. <laughs> 